are already starting up the next match. It's going to be Utah versus Sun Dula. Let's get it. Oh, I am so excited. I love all the, all these matchups are so much fun to watch. Septile Gardevoir. We've seen Gardevoir Guard Chomp. We've seen Blastoise Suicune. We have not seen an identical match up yet. And that's what I love about Pokémon. And here we are, man, getting into game number one, losers, quarters finals, quarter finals. Just going straight into it, and we have Utah already. Okay, no grabs right now. Just, I like. You know what I like? Whenever a lot of these guys don't want to show their hands too soon with the big and heavy committals. Stay safe. Try to download that information to see if your opponent, you know, tends to block in certain situations. And remember to grab the next time, you know? Exactly. And Sundula right there getting a nice kind of reset back in this uh, mid-range dual phase. Patient zoning right Ooh. there. And he looks, it looks like he was looking for a missed space project out there. But... Oh, oh yeah. Utah getting excited about that, man. I mean, you should be. Gardevoir, like I said, one of the strongest dual phase grabs, especially on Critical. And he's not going to stop the grab pressure here. This is something we saw him against. Uh, man, it was Utah versus Sharker that we saw a lot of throws come out from Utah. And what an anti-air, knowing that he was in the corner, knowing he wanted to get out. Sceptile really, really good at getting out of the corner situations by jumping. Called it out through the anti-air. Beautiful round one take by Utah. And one thing I like is the Pachi Risu that we have here actually by Utah as well for this particular matchup. Yeah, it absorbs projectiles. I've seen, with some person in my region, I've seen some, some crazy Pachirisu tech come in. I think there were some Pachirisu changes recently as well. Just to be clear, guys, we don't mean some person as a, you know, a person oh, no, in particular. Uh, his tag is literally some person. Yeah, and <laughs> there is a some person Pachirisu guide on YouTube. That's unfortunate. He absorbed the projectiles, but was a little bit too late. Got hit by the Giga Drain. Luckily for him, not a ton of damage on Giga Drain, but the traps everywhere. Sun Dula, very aggressive this round number two. Lapper's going to create space. Utah just didn't know. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, he <laughs> he just walked into it. It's like, yo, I like surfing. I'm down. Okay, well, I was about to say, is uh, Sun Dula going to be able to just keep him out right there? Yeah. Oh, wow. there it is. Yeah, Pachi wasn't, wasn't ready. Pachi was not ready. <laughs> Here we go. All right, he's rocking the Magikarp now. Maybe, maybe the past recent call was a mistake. Because I know he does love to rock Magikarp. Okay. Magikarp is such a good support now. Oh, my. Well, he comes out so much quicker. He falls from the heavens like a... Fr oh, it's <laughs> crazy. Smart back dash right there by Sandua. Understanding when he's going to have to just get out of there. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky reset. I'm liking it. Sandula always getting those trap setups yep, everywhere like he possibly can. And I like that high set that we saw from Utah. Now he's going to keep this going. Okay, very smart stuff on landing. Had the counterattack hitbox available for the tele, uh, the tele slash. Very smart play from Utah, but Sandula immediately coming in with that throw. Yeah, man. I mean, once the carp was out, he had to do something. Yeah, oh, yeah. The fans are, are out, man. Another counterattack. Utah is always ready for that teleslash, man. Smart. So fast, that Sundula. That didn't get the setup, but that was beautiful. Had the seat on the ground and was just ready. Dude, I love how aggressive he got oh! right there. Oh, my God, sneaky. Dude, he went up all in this area and was like, you know what? Actually, no, nah, you don't want it. Nah, <laughs> nah you don't need <laughs> this. Come on. He might have took round one, but do you know who I am? Sundula. Sundula. Man. Game two already. These players, no seconds to breathe. They're just going to jump right in. Oh, I love I love this stage. Yeah. This is such a happy stage. It definitely is. Like, man. nothing bad can ever happen on this stage. Like, it's just sunshine and rainbows. I mean, something bad can happen on this stage. Pokemon painting. You're right. <laughs> But you put them back in their Pokeball, you take them somewhere safe. That's right. Nurse and you get back out there. Yep, yep. Nurse Story got them. I see that. See, see it. We hit that. But again, these counterattacks. That time, Sundula with the adaptation. Seeing that the counterattack was coming out, waited for the vulnerability frames, and then activated with this defense debuff. That was so much damage. Didn't even finish the conversion. Didn't need to. Yeah. Utah, that is not patient. Utah needs, he needs a bandage right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's looking real bad. And I love the fake start there with the Giga Drain. Oh, Pachi, okay. No projectiles today. What you doing? Oh, you're getting that amazing critical hit into a Giga Drain. This might kill with Leaf Storm. Oh, yes, it, it will. Put that man on his head. Woo. Woo. Guy, it's hot. It actually is hot at this venue. I, I it's, a, it's also hot. It's hot. Come on. Let's well, go. Again, 
Sunula is so smart. Once he sees Gardevoir overcommit to one of those slow projectiles, puts back and kicks a ray of green sunshine right into Gardevoir's face, but Utah, he's ready with that super strong grab. Look at that chunk, man. Dude, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. One input. Dual phase? Uh, you don't want to get grab fired, dude. Might as well keep swinging. Yeah. Ain't broke, don't fix it. Until they adapt. Okay, oh. this time we got whiffs, but the landing punish is going to be coming from Utah. Way less landing lag on that uh, dive kick. Or dive float. Very smart plays right there with that jump X. Coming in through. Uh-oh. Hachi? Nope. No more projectiles for you, Vincent. Put them away. But he does have full synergy. They both got full synergy. Sundula. Okay, smack down the ground. What's the wake up? That is meaty. That was oh. such a good setup. I love that 8Y meaty. It is so beautiful to see. Applies that defense debuff. It's so hard to predict. Oh. Dude, the moment Sundula went for Lapras, he knew. Yeah. Oh, but in, insane trade right there from both of those players at the end of the day. Utah Lapras winning. can't kill them. Yeah, man. So uh, Utah knew what was going to happen, man. Very, very smart call out. This is potentially still the last round of this set. Sadula might be advancing on, or we're going to be going into a game three. And frankly, I would, I would love to see I, I'd be down. I'd Come be down. on, I, I, we could keep, we keep this set going. Beautiful high stance again. But, yeah, it's all up to Utah, man. Trying to keep it safe. And he just dropped shield last second. That was the first frame of the vulnerability dropping that shield. Again, we've seen that so many times. We don't have to talk about that anymore. We know what's happening. Oh, yeah. Great pierce with those. Here comes the combo. In with AY, get that defense buff. Yep. Very smart. Get that defense debuff whenever you can. Lapras does so much damage, but. Okay, yeah, Patrick doesn't absorb that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, no, he's stopping an entire tidal away. That's cool. Oh! oh from deep. This oh. is going to hurt. Yes, it did. Gardevoir. People forget, man, she might look like just a pure zoner. She does a ton of damage all up in your face. Yeah, you, you have to be careful, man. Show that respect. Here it is, though. Sadula. On wake up. Yep, going to have to do that. Does not want to eat a 50-50 from a synergy mode. Sceptile, that is so scary. Cast landing. No. Oh. Yeah, crowd went crazy for that one there. Yeah, they were ready. They were ready for, to see this set be over. But Utah's enemy man get some chip with that synergy activation. No. Okay. Oh! And Sandula takes to the skies, cuts his opponent, follows up accordingly, and takes the rest of the set. 2-0 victory over Utah. That, see, that could have been a very, very, very scary situation for Sandula yeah, because I'm not saying this is what Utah should have done, but oh. a setup he could have done is he was going for a lot of throws, right? Mm -hmm. See, this was a Sandula read. Sandula knew that Utah loved to go for those throws in the yep. corner, loved to go for those high tint situation throws. If Utah were to predict that Sundula was going to break the throw, went for a counterattack, he might have actually won that game. But, like you said, man, from our perspective, it's easy to see that. Such a high tense situation, man. That was last hit. He had to win that to continue fighting for his life. He went for what he knew, and it just, in this 